A couple months ago, Alpha Models released a new Lamborghini Huracan Evo kit, and they sent it out to me to build for you guys. So let's jump into the box quickly, and then show a couple of the parts in a bit more detail later on. Let's start off with the interior. So the main interior tub, as you can see, was uh, put into the body just to keep it safe during shipping and also just to keep the box a bit smaller, I guess. It is nicely detailed as we're used to by now from Alpha Model. It doesn't really have all that many parts on it as pretty much all of them are separate parts and pieces. The engine is molded halfway in, not a big deal as you can pretty much only see the top section of it once the model is built, so I'm really happy that they did decide to add a couple of details in here and a couple more that will be shown later. So like I just said, the main interior tub is a bit bare, but all of the parts and pieces to detail it out are there, but they are separate pieces, which is a fantastic point to this kit, as that makes it a lot easier and a lot more realistic to detail and paint every single part and piece. For instance, you get the option for the top half of the seat, and of course the bottom one as well, and then there is also the option for the carbon-backed fixed seat. Now, I'm not sure which one of these I will be using, but I'm kind of leaning towards this one as it looks a lot cooler. And one of the examples to show perfectly how detailed this kit is, is the dashboard. This is simply just one piece. The other pieces are, of course, for the vents. They are molded separately and have a lot more detail in them, just like the dashboard itself. A lot of different uh, vents and holes to put parts in, of course. And to go even further, the bottom half of the dashboard is a separate piece, and that middle section, where is it, is also a separate piece, if I could just find it. Ah, there it is. And even that has buttons and vents and the patterns for the Huracan dashboard in it. There is one more piece for the dashboard. This is that top section, and again, a separate piece. And it also has some vents in it that are separate as well and that is molded together with the sprue for all the speakers, which are molded in separate parts. The center console, of course, is also not made of one part either, so this one can be nicely detailed too. 
this goes pretty much on and on and on. Even all of the separate door handles and gravity bits and even the starter or uh, gear selector is a separate part. Just like the airbag and also some of the parts for on the door cards. Now, even though the lower half of the engine is molded into the main interior piece, all of the other detailed parts, which are highly visible, are molded into separate parts and pieces. Now, as usual with these alpha model kits, the chassis itself is a bit bare. Again, I personally don't mind as when it's put onto it and put onto its four wheels, I will probably never be looking at it again. Now, at least there is a bit of detail on it, so it is good to add and maybe paint up a little bit. The mounting system for the wheels and calipers is the same as all of their other kits, really easy to use and also really nice that they have specific areas for where you need to put the calipers on. For the discs and calipers you get four discs and later on I will be showing a couple of the photo etch parts what needs to be going on top of that and of course you get some more of the big calipers too. You of course also get four wheels and four tires, two for the front which are a bit smaller and narrower and two for the rear which are a bit wider and a bit bigger. You also get a couple of sheets of clear plastic which are pre-cut and pre-painted for all the windows. Now they are flat so they might need a bit of forming with some heat, but altogether this looks a lot nicer than most of the clear parts that come in standard kits which still need to be painted. For some of the additional details and emblems there are a couple of sheets with metal transfer stickers for the logos and some of the interior details. And if that wasn't enough, there are also a couple sheets of photo etch to detail out the interior, some of the exterior trim, the disc brakes, some of the vents, and all other stuff around it. The side mirrors are also separate parts, which are nicely detailed as usual. And there is a couple of parts for the diffusers, the splitters, and even the exhaust tips, which have additional detail on them too. And the final piece, of course, itself is the body. Now it does have a bit of flashing around some of the mold lines, but that is not too big of a deal as it easily falls off pretty much, as you can hear and see right there. And altogether, this looks really nice and crisp. All of the panel lines are nice. The shape of the body looks really, really good. And there is a crap ton of details all around. With this one, there is also a decal sheet included with a lot of the decals for all of the stitching and some of the extra panels on the interior, which is a really nice add-on if you're gonna go blue. If you're gonna go any other color, it's not really that useful, but it's still cool to have. Some of the additional details for the gauge cluster and some logos are also there.